of my new friends. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. This is monthly July 2019 astrology and love tarot reading for zodiac sign Aries for men and women. Guys, month of July uh, probably is the most powerful and most important uh, month of your life where you can expect uh, such a big uh, change not only you but every single zodiac uh, sign why i will explain uh, because uh, there is right at the beginning of month of july um, new moon which will happen in uh, cancer and this is not ordinary new moon this is total eclipse uh, total lunar eclipse which will happen on july 2nd and this is like the first thing and another thing is full moon in a sign of capricorn and this is the same axis because this is opposition between cancer and capricorn and guys this is partial uh, lunar eclipse and i will talk about that which will happen on july 16th okay so how guys this looks on your chart uh, before I say anything at all, I strongly suggest to you watch your sun sign. The most important video is about your rising sun and then moon sign. To the some degree, all three videos can apply on your life. So my dear Arians, let me start with the Chiron, which is in your first house right in here. Now, why Chiron? Because... Uh, Chiron uh, at the beginning of this month uh, is not retrograded, but Chiron will start with a retrograde moving on July uh, 8th. So basically um, in the first eight days of the month of July. What that means to have retrograde Chiron in your first house? It means that you are not afraid to speak up your mind, okay? So, uh, I don't know who you are, but you are not afraid to speak up of your needs. You need to express what are your needs. And basically, this is you allowing yourself to be who you are to the core. Not what society is asking from you, your mother or father. But basically, this is your nature, you know. Guys, this is very powerful. And I will explain to you why I'm saying what I'm saying you know that your pl uh, ruler planet is planet Mars. Right at the beginning, Mars is in your fourth house right in here. Mars on 29th degree. 29th. So basically Mars will shift. Mars will move to your fifth house of love. Guys, generally speaking, month of July is all about you, what you need how you feel, what you want, okay? So you need fun. Guys, I'm giving you permission to have fun. You spend a lot of time, especially in month of June, for some of you, maybe even month of uh, May and, and April, fighting for your children, helping your parents, your family members, fighting even for your private business, if you have a private business, or maybe fighting, you know, to do something with your house. Um, maybe this is like decorating your house, buying a lot of stuff. And now this is you saying, you know, okay, uh, like, you know, I cannot stay in the house anymore because I will simply explode. You see, guys, you know, not only that you have in a fourth house Mars, uh, also there is a sun and a little bit later, Venus also will enter into the fourth house I am saying, guys, what the most important axis, not in the month of July only, but in 2019, is this one axis between taking responsibility both for your career, but in 2019, more for your family and for securing family and house, flat, private business, taking care of the core needs of your being. I think. That basically you are done with that and now you can have easier 
type of a month and basically you can you can follow your own desires uh, some of you because mars uh, will shift in a couple of days in your fifth house and fifth house is house for fun for creativity so follow your hunch follow your uh, you know if you have any kind of hobby uh, so many of you maybe will start expressing your being and what you want so much easier because Mars in fifth house, Mars in the sign of Leo is all about drama, glamour. This is all about uh, acting. Maybe you will become an actor or actress or maybe finally you can express your creativity uh, uh, without feeling that you need to be somewhere else. Okay, so I think that you finished something you helped brother, sister, maybe your partner, maybe your children, depends how old you are. And now you want to breathe, you know, you want to feel that you are alive once again. Guys, this is exactly what you will feel. And from the very first week of the month of July, you will feel that you, you kind of finished like a big chunk of your life and a completely new era in your life is opening in front of your eyes. Of course, uh, total lunar eclipse which will happen on uh, July 2nd is extremely powerful simply you feel that you love your family you will do for your family anything what it takes for some of you still because some of your fourth house you are still searching where you want to be rooted okay so Sun will give you power and a good eyesight you know to see I love this neighborhood I don't like this neighborhood, I love this town, I don't like that town, or you know, whatever, or state maybe even for some of you. Okay, so guys, uh, extremely good for uh, selling, buying house in a beautiful neighborhood with lots of kindergartens, kindergartens uh, good school, uh, public school or private school, depends what is your preferences. Okay, in your... Uh, in your sight also is your children. You will do anything. Some of you will help your children uh, to achieve their dream about schooling. Maybe for some of you, you will change the school of your kid. Uh, maybe you are a very ambitious type of a parent. Maybe you will help your kid uh, to achieve something. And whatever it is, could be at least for some of you, for you or for your kid, in front of uh, TV. So, so many of you will get finally, you know, a chance to present yourself in the way that basically you are craving to be presented. Mercury will start with annual um, retrograde phase. This will happen on July 7th. So Mercury is here in a fifth house. Mercury is saying, don't rush, take your time uh, for your creativity for love you know take your time so guys you have asteroid volcano juno asteroid mercury mars a little bit later even sun will move guys is like extremely powerful emphasis emph emph your fifth house is powerfully emphasized and everything talks about love guys month of july is month for love when you can fall in love or you can strengthen a bond with your current partner. A lot of you, because now you have a, your house or place, your love nest, where you can uh, where you can be now, you can grow. Guys, everything depends how old you are. If you're 67, this is not about uh, your children, but if you are, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, you know, maybe even 50, you know, you can think about those things you know settling down rooted yourself but also uh, if you have if you achieved all those things guys for you it's time for fun with your children with your partner with your friends you are very supported when it comes to friends any kind of connection because because you have a protection with venus in your third house if you're single you can attract love in your neighborhood some of you will travel and also this could be like you know the place uh, how you can meet future uh, spouse, even future your future spouse. So Venus in a third protection is giving you, uh, is giving you uh, Venus in third house is giving you protection. If you have had any kind of 
uh, differences with your brother and sister in like June, maybe even maybe even May because of money or because of inheritance or because of property or any kind of this type of things. Now, this is you finally uh, making agreement, settlement and everything is as it should be. So your friend Cancer, uh, Libra, Taurus and even Gemini could be the person who will fall in love with you. But there is a Leo, <laughs> very powerful Leo, also could be Scorpio, also could be uh, Virgo, somebody who is looking, you know, out, you know, for you and trying to be with you and in your presence as much as it is possible. What about your career? Full moon, which will happen here in your 10th house. Okay, guys, uh, this year and another year, 2020, Pluto and Saturn will be in house of your career. This is all about uh, taking uh, self-control, being very, very responsible. Everything depends on you. Some of you will leave current career. Some of you, so many of you, maybe will start with your private business or simply you can work for big company, but maybe inside of your house. Okay. When it comes to love, um, because your um, Uranus is in a square with the uh, Mercury just right in here, a lot of communication and a lot of saying, you know, uh, take me for who I am. Don't try to change me because, you know, I love who I am. I have so many things to offer to you. So please don't change me. Rather, take me for who I am and enjoy in this life. So a lot of uh, joy and beautiful things which are heading your way. I think that you paid in some way due uh, either to your career or maybe to a family and simply everything in your July monthly uh, chart basically talks about uh, fun, fun and falling in love. So guys, allow yourself a little bit of luxury, uh, glamour uh, type of things, you know, you will have opportunity to meet such a loving people, powerful people. Uh, for some of you, this is, uh, this is work in front of camera, working publicly, any kind of job, you know, but still in the exact same time, you can enjoy in it. So while Mercury is in a retrograde motion until 31st of July, take your time, don't rush, make a laugh because you will enjoy in the month of July like never ever before. And this is part of astrology. Guys, uh, this is the very first part and now let me talk about tarot. In the meantime, uh, please help me support my uh, channel and my work. Send some donation on PayPal Ivanatero at hotmail.com. Of course, if you want. Thank you so very much up in front. Okay, so now love tarot reading for zodiac sign Aries. Let me start with the general prediction. Opportunity beacons, guys. So don't you worry about month of July. You can see opportunity beacons. This is love tarot reading, but also this opportunity goes for your career. So many of you, or at least some of you, you are worrying too much thinking, you know, how I'm going to continue with my life, what am I going to do, you know, some of you are single and maybe this is basically why you are worrying that much. Guys, do not worry about that. Your current partner, if you're attached, your current partner is deeply in love with you and this love is going deeper, deeper and deeper. But if you're single, opportunity still is coming, opportunity beacons, okay. So now let me see. Major Arcana, the High Priestess, some of you are in a love and this is like secret love. Maybe simply you're secretly in love or maybe somebody is secretly in love with you and this person is searching and waiting for right opportunity to talk with you, to show how much somebody is deep in love with you. Could be colleague, uh, could, be, could be friend. Um, some people, some situations are not available, you know, so somebody is waiting the right precise moment when this person will approach to you. So guys, I told you, 
go slowly do not rush and especially in love questions okay two of wands uh, some of you are changing direction your love direction some of you maybe are leaving especially love triangle or maybe secret relationship for whatever reason might be why you are maybe some of you in a secret relationship and this is you saying i know exactly now what i need to do and where i do belong uh, it is time for you not to be confused it is time for you to say this is who i am this is what i want if you cannot give me what i want i will leave to your current partner okay major kind of the world everything is so good guys new group of people acquaintances some of you will have opportunity to travel some of you will meet your future spouse on internet guys you don't need to be you know worried about your marriage about your current relationship because somebody believe in you uh, furthermore you have a cosmic protection uh, so many of your dreams now are simply possible to be achieved i have a strong feeling for some of you this could be a person that you know for so many years uh, but some of you you will find love on internet especially because of this jupiter still in your ninth house freedom page of wands okay so you have uh, not because i said so this is you giving yourself opportunity to explore uh, different people different friendships you know before you make your final decision with whom you want to settle down so many of you have opportunity to choose between two people if you are attached uh, you will enjoy in life with your current partner no doubt about that and you will travel with your current partner because simply you want to explore new places new things new people new culture so you will have opportunity to travel with your family or with your spouse okay oh this is okay libra gemini or an aquarian somebody is approaching to you this person is completely different than any of your previous love partner and due to that and due to that you will be uh, you will be um uh, not teased but very interested interested into this person because this person is very unique this person uh, maybe is hard to catch or maybe you are hard to catch depends of course on your gender and this person will do anything to catch to catch you so somebody is like uh, you know very 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 interested into you uh, this person is an ideal person with whom you can settle down of course this person maybe is already your partner if this is your current partner guys uh this is excellent partner to be with and this is a confirmation two of cups guys this is unconditional love that you can get from your partner or simply you will have hunch or you will have like sixth sense uh, to predict and to feel uh, who is the right person the one for you guys unconditional love so this is exactly what you will get unconditional love in the month of july guys uh if you are still here if you were patient enough to listen my astrology and tarot prediction now you know that basically this is almost the same unconditional love um finding the right partner and allowing yourself to enjoy in life uh to have uh, so many luxuries you know think to be surrounded with powerful uh, strong willed people and simply this is you like saying you know this is exactly what i were searching for for so many years you know and finally now with this unconditional love you will get all what your heart was aching for guys simply be who you are and this is the best way how you can achieve what you want to achieve I think I really think month of July is going to be the best month yet in 2019 okay 
Guys, this is it. Call me, book a private reading if you want to talk with me. Make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Bye.